one of the first things that when with carbon canoes or bringing life to canoes is to know what kind of wood you use and what appropriate wood you're going to use to carve canoes. We have cedar trees, we have red cedar and yellow cedar. And red cedar is the canoes that we use for carving canoes. And we use them for a lot of things. It's a tree of life. And this is, you utilize the whole tree from the roots to the boughs right, and the cedar tree. And there's within those trees, there's also male and female spirits. So for, uh, for myself, part of my training was to, to learn the difference between male and female trees. And when you're carving canoes, to, before you start, you have to really humble yourself to create that spirit of that tree. It was told to me when the tree falls, it gives up its life. You come and pray to this tree and ask it to show you the way how it's going to be, how it's going to come to life. And if you're in a good mind and good spirits about it, it'll it'll show you everything that it's going to be. And when we follow what the canoe wants and how it's going to be, it turns out perfect the way it's meant to be. And one of my our elders told us told me is that. You know, we're not masters or master carvers or anything like that. The wood is the master, it shows us how it's going to be. So you're only an instrument of, to release its form, to bring it back to life. When you, when you put a lot of hours and you sacrifice time and you, you put your energy into it, you'll dream about it. You have a dream or you have a feeling. They talk to you, but not within words, but with through your thoughts and through dreams. So a lot of the communication is not like, it's not verbal like he and I. It's, it's through spirit, right? through your inner spirit. It's kind of really hard to describe in English, but all I could say is in our language we call it uh, the quiet soul, the chat with, to to train to bring this to life. What we do is, as men, it's something that. It helps ground us, it helps us be normal in life. The wood and the tree and the canoe and the different mediums of cedar that we bring life, it gives to us, it helps us.